Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, noise and name calling will not serve this house. Demonstrations and picketing are in the law, in the Constitution. And when it is going on, it is the duty of the police to maintain order. What happens in a demonstration depends on two groups of people. The demonstrators and the police. And the, the evidence in history, like in the Selma March in the United States in the 60s, the black people were marching very peacefully. The people who were causing the violence were the police and police dogs. They achieved what they wanted. What happened here on Monday? Mr. Speaker, I was at KICC. We were sitting at KICC. There's nothing we were doing. The police threw tear gas. What was the reason? Mr. Speaker, in the afternoon when we were going through Madare and Isli. The people were basically not, they were listening to the speeches. They didn't even throw a stone. The police started putting tear gas and water cannons. In town, the police were attacking any group of people regardless and actually robbing some of them. So Mr. Speaker, what happened on Monday, the chaos that we saw, at least in Nairobi, is totally attributable to the police. We were determined to have peaceful demonstrations. So, Mr. Speaker, nothing will stop these demonstrations until the issues we are talking about are addressed. And if the police wants to cause chaos, let them cause chaos. We shall remain peaceful. Mr. Speaker, let it also be known there's a simple principle in life. And in this parliament, let the minority have their say as the majority have their way. Mr. Speaker, if we reduce this house Are you sure? to the mood of the house, is it a serious point of order that has something to do with the order of the house? Yeah. What's your order? What's your point of order? Yeah. Honorable Speaker, you know I will not rise on a frivolous point. I rise on standing order 87. Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from the Honorable Rosa Buyu, I think she has listened to what the Honorable Nikal has said. Honorable Speaker, because standing order 87.2 says that it shall be out of order to introduce an argument on any specific question upon which the House has taken a decision during the same session. Honorable Speaker, you know we made a decision on the IEBC Amendment Act as a House. Honorable Speaker, and listening to what Professor Nikali is saying, amongst the issues they mentioned is a review of that particular act approved enacted by this house honorable speaker that, therefore that, that honorable, speaker, order, order. honorable speaker unless the honorable nikal order, and then order, substantiate order, 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 honorable speaker order, order honorable kimani chunga order order please take your seat proceed honorable nikal and finish your argument the debate so mr speaker i was saying if we want peace in this country, let the principle which says, let the minority have their say and the majority have their way. If we get into a situation where the mood of the house stops them from debating difficult issues, we have no other option but to go and discuss them in the street. And that is what we shall do. Mr. Speaker, nature also says, those who have more more will be expected of them. If 
if you have no power in your hand by whatever way you get it, it is your duty to make sure there is peace and order in the, in the country. And if you fail to do so, we shall continue. My